Good morning, friends. Hey, everybody. We are at a rest stop or a gas station in Pennsylvania. We've had a great week. We are not going to make it back in time for church, but we do have a Sunday school lesson we can share with you. So last week, um, you'll remember that the Hebrew people were wandering around in the wilderness. Um, and last week, Joshua was became the leader and he took them into the promised land. Moses dies and um, most of the people who lived in Egypt all those many years ago passed away as well. So um, the, the new generation um, went into the land flowing with milk and honey. But when they got there, there were some obstacles along the way. They had some things they had to do first. Yeah. One of the first was to deal with a large city called Jericho. And, I've heard of Jericho. Yeah, I've heard of Jericho too. And in Jericho, um, they had to figure out how they would take the city. So they sent two spies into Jericho to see what would be the best way to take over the city. And so they were either going to send in the the tanks and the um, drones and all of the fighting the, power, right? That's what they were trying to decide? No, the, the Israeli drones didn't work very well, B.C. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so. so they sent in the spies, and a woman named Rahab kept the spies and hid them so that they wouldn't be killed. So if it wasn't for that woman, it would have been a completely different story, right? Right. The spies would have been killed, and we don't know what would have happened to the Israelites trying to get into Jericho. All right. Thanks, Rahab. Yeah. Way to go. So anyway, they decide they need to figure out a way to go into the city, and then God gives some instructions to Joshua and says, what you need to do is gather everyone in a circle around the city wall and... A city wall? Yeah. It, uh, We've been in a lot of cities this week and I haven't seen any walls. Well, there are walls around cities to keep them safe and that... Uh, oh, okay. And so they kept all of their people in the city and all of the people they didn't want had to be outside the had city. Had to be outside. Okay. And so... The Israelite people lined up in a circle around the wall of Jericho, and the priest lined up too, and they carried trumpets. Trumpets? And, yes, trumpets. Hmm. And, the, and the Ark of the Covenant went along too as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the way they decided that they would... Mar they would take over the city is once a day for six days they would all march in a circle around the wall of the city what that now, doesn't sound like a good battle plan to me it doesn't sound like a too good battle plan to the people inside Jericho either ah uh, whoa 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 wait a minute wait a minute I remember a song from a long time ago um, that the Veggie Tales used to sing, and it was a song that they thought the <clears throat> people from Jericho might be singing to the Hebrew people. Do you remember that song? I remember that song. Let's sing it, okay? Keep walking, but, but you won't, won't knock, knock down, down our walls. Keep walking, but it isn't, isn't going, going to fall. fall. It's, it's plain to see your brains are very small to think walking will be knocking down our wall. That was a fun song. That was a fun song. Mm -hmm. It was a fun song. That's what the and people I, in Jericho thought. And I really think they really thought the Hebrew people had small brains. Yeah. Right. Walking around is not going to make them winners. Well, then came day seven. And on okay. day seven, day seven, the Israelites were to walk around the city seven times. And while they were walking around, they were to be shouting, and the priests were to be blowing the trumpets. 
Oh my goodness. So they're making a lot of noise. Making a lot of noise. Wow. Did that make a difference? It must have because the walls of the city fell down. <gasps> On the seventh day. Wow. On the seventh day. That's and totally And the people cool. of Israel were able to enter the city. Oh, so they won. Yeah, yeah. And I guess all the, the people from Jericho had to leave. Well, the people from Jericho uh, were killed. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But there was a song that went with it. Oh, a spiritual, I think I remember that song. Yeah. yeah. You sing it. Joshua hit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua hit the battle of Jericho, and the walls came a tumbling down. You can talk about your men of Gideon. You can talk about your men of Saul. Run loud, just like Joshua in the Battle of Jericho. Oh, so Joshua did the Battle of Jericho. Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. You know, we want to root for the Israelites in that story. Sure. But it's a violent story. Yeah, that's true. All of the people are killed, and all of the animals are killed. Mm. The women and children are killed. Oh, gosh. That is... I don't like talking about that kind of stuff. But there are that kind. Of, there are a lot of those kinds of stories in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Why does that happen? Well, we don't have time to talk about it uh, while we're driving down the road uh, through Pennsylvania. Okay. But I think it would make. A really interesting Wednesday night Bible study Ooh, on, yeah. on the use of violence in mm -hmm. the Bible and yeah. how we can interpret violent actions in the Bible and how we as Christians can view those things. I think you might be onto something there. So we might look into that later. Okay. In the meantime, we got to get back on the road. So. Yeah. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you next week. All Bye. Right. Bye.